Hello everyone, welcome to Bit of Anatomy. In this tutorial, we will see features of the bone, which is a type of sclerous tissue or specialized connective tissue. If you see the components, it contains various types of cells like osteoprogenitor cell, the osteoblast cell, the osteocyte cell, and the osteoclasts. Osteoprogenitor cell is a stem cell which forms osteoblast and osteocyte. Osteoblast is bone forming cell. Osteocyte is bone maintaining cell and osteoclast is bone removing or bone resorption cell. In addition to cells, the bone contains the intercellular substance which includes the fibers and the calcium and other ions which makes the bone strong, rigid and hard. If it's a longitudinal section of a bone, towards the shaft, the bone contains compactly arranged tissue whereas towards the ends, it contains spongy arranged bone tissue, which gives the appearance of the sponge. So correspondingly, these tissues, they are called as compact bone and the spongy bone. And in the shaft cavity, there is marrow cavity, which is filled with either red marrow or the yellow marrow. So in the histology, we see ground section of the compact bone so these are not stained with any stain so they are just thinned out and observed under the microscope so in the transverse section of the compact bone we can appreciate the lamellar arrangement which is plate like arrangement within the lamellae there are some spaces called as lacunae which contains the osteocyte so the bone tissue is arranged in the form of plates which are called as lamellae the spaces in between are called as lacunae. So the bone is surrounded by periosteum and endosteum on its outer and inner surfaces. Beneath the periosteum, we can see the lacunae arranged parallel to each other. Even beneath the endosteum, it is arranged parallel to each other. And this arrangement is called as circumferential lamellae. So inside the circumferential lamellae, we can see some concentrically arranged lacunae. The lamellar pattern is concentric here. So this is called as concentric lamellae or also called as the osteon or haversian system. So each osteon or haversian system, it contains a central haversian canal which consists of uh, blood vessels, the nerves and the lymphatics which supplies nutrition to the lacunae and the osteocytes. And in between the haversian system, so we can see some amount of dispersed lacunae here. So this is called as interstitial lamellae. So these are the cells which uh, come out of the concentric lamellae. So these are the three types of lamellae in the bone. So if you see one lacunae, so it is a large space with numerous extensions called as canalicular process. The space contains the osteocytes, whereas the canalicular process contains the cytoplasmic projections. So if you see the LS of the compact bone, the haversian system is parallel or the haversian canals are parallel and connected by Oakman's canal and the Oakman's canal carries the blood vessels to the haversian canal. So and the osteocytes are parallel to the haversian system or the haversian canal rather. So these are the features of the bone histology. Do subscribe for future updates. Thank you.